Hi everyone, I'm Renata with Renata's Garden and welcome to another episode of Unearth Horticulture. Today, as you can see, I am in the plant bus and I decided to do a really quick video uh, for this week's episode all about the artwork on the outside of the plant bus so that you can all uh, learn a little bit more about my background and why things are painted on the outside. So let's go take a look. The reason I have a tomato seedling progression from seed to maturity on this bus is because that's where I got my start. I started with tomato seedlings, believe it or not. Next, we come to the spade on my bus. And this is a core part of my branding because I wanna encourage everyone that I meet and everyone that steps onto the bus, I wanna encourage them to unearth horticulture and discover a little bit more and to get their hands dirty. The botanical artwork on the outside of the bus is strongly influenced by my heritage. I actually have strong Mennonite roots. And when my ancestors immigrated here from Europe in the late 1800s, they brought with them pieces of furniture that they had built. Um, they're definitely craftsmen of their trade and innovators in what they did. And they brought this furniture with them that had beautiful botanical illustrations on the outside. And I've seen pictures and pieces of furniture and I was strongly influenced by this unique type of artwork, this old type of artwork. And because I've always felt that agriculture is in my blood, working the land is a part of my heritage, I felt that it was only appropriate, appropriate to include uh, those themes on the outside of my bus and in my business. There's no place I love more than Kansas, so of course I had to display the state flower front and center on the school bus. <laughs> the moth on the bus is actually a tribute to one of my favorite authors and naturalists, Gene Stratton Porter. The cone flowers on the back of the bus symbolize my love of native plants, and I wanted the bus to look like it was driving through the Kansas prairie when it was on the move. And the honeybee, I actually included insects on the outside of the bus to point out that horticulture is not just about plant life, but also the organisms that interact with them. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of Unearth Horticulture. Stay tuned for next week's episode. And in the meantime, check out this time-lapse video of me painting the bus last October.